Right, so uh, yeah, I know this video is coming quite late, 24 hours or more. Since Chelsea got absolutely hammered 4-0 by Manchester United on the opening day of the 2019-20 campaign. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. So I'll start off firstly, the reason why I didn't make this video yesterday was because honestly, after that game, I was honestly just emotionally shattered. I mean... I really just wasn't in the right frame of mind to make a video. I was just absolutely depressed really after that, after that game because losing 4-0 on the opening day at Old Trafford, especially to a team like Man United, is just is just not what you want really, is it? So yeah, basically in this video I'm gonna be like, you know, giving you guys my thoughts on that and um basically giving you my perspective on what where we go from this and all that kind of stuff for the rest of the season. So yeah, let's just get straight into this. So to start off, I just wanna say that let's be real, anyone that watched the game can agree it was not a 4-0 game, a 4-0 scoreline flattered United. I mean, we started off the game brilliantly. Tammy Abraham struck the post with a beautiful effort, like, what, seven, eight minutes in? And if that goes in, it's a completely different game. I know you can't just keep dwelling on that because obviously his the post doesn't go in, so it's not a different game. But we started off really well and then Kurt Zuma gives away a penalty, a stupid foul. I mean, I like Kurt Zuma. I think he's a decent defender, but just a really, really sloppy performance from him and a, a really reckless challenge just completely throws us out the door from the 15 minute mark onwards and Rashford obviously buries the penalty in style, brilliant penalty from him. And from then onwards it was it was a completely different game. I think we kind of did okay um, after the first goal up until half time. We did you know we didn't do too well. We didn't do as well as we started but we did okay. But yeah we did okay for spells in the first half, you know, we a few sloppy passing. I think the passing was really a weak point. Obviously the defending was shocking but I think the passing overall was too sloppy, you know, too many passes weren't paying off and yeah, I think that's just definitely something we need to improve on under Lampard. And to be honest, that really surprises me because a whole season with Maurizio Sarri, a manager who is known predominantly for his passing kind of style. I know a lot of those players that played yesterday weren't in his team last year, but it surprises me how you play a whole season with Maurizio Sarri, a manager who focuses on the passing element of football and you still can't even string two passes together in the middle of the park. Like, I just don't know how that works, to be honest. But yeah, overall, I think the second goal really killed us. I mean, arguably that was a foul on Tammy Abraham in the box, but I'm not going to go too far into that because not a bad tackle from him. I can understand why the referee didn't give it. I mean, I was pissed off at the time, but now looking back in it, I can understand why he didn't give it and then obviously they go straight through and Martial bundles it in under Kepa and 2-0 and then straight away obviously they go and get a third goal which just really just just killed us completely and after that second goal went in we we just absolutely collapsed we just gave up and nothing went right after after that so yeah the second goal just really put us in the dirt then obviously the third goal from Rashford a brilliant ball over the top from Pogba I have to say he played really well yesterday which I wasn't expecting because obviously there's rumours that his head's not right at United and he plays an absolute ping over the top to Rashford who slots it away brilliantly like composed striker that he turns out to be this season maybe and uh, yeah that's just puts the nail in the coffin there's no coming back from that then obviously Daniel James goes on and adds a fourth goal and again great work from Pogba a good uh, move on the left from United uh, the passing absolutely done us as Blaqueta gets caught out I have to say he had a really really poor game and I personally think he's passed it now as much as I love him I just think he's not good enough anymore so counting our chickens to see if Reese James can come back as soon as possible from his injury but yeah the as I said after that second goal we were just dead and buried no coming back and they just added to the third and a fourth and basically pile on the commiserations but on the positive side I think Emerson was our man of the match in terms of our performers I think Emerson was very good he had three shots on target he was unlucky not to score he hit the woodwork in the first half had a few shots decently saved by David De Gea I think he was kind of the standout performer in our team I think there was four other players that were decent enough maybe five I think Christensen was okay he was kind of sloppy at times but I'm not going to say he was okay because the defense overall was absolutely tragic I think Kovacic and Jorginho were okay in midfield but I think that we lacked Kante's uh, influence in midfield just because Jorginho and Kovacic, I know Jorginho is known for his um, defensive abilities in terms of interceptions, tackles and challenges, one and all that kind of stuff, but let's be honest, he's not really the physical presence that Kante is in the middle of the pitch in terms of winning the ball back. Jorginho and Kovacic were okay with what they were supposed to do. They did okay, I suppose, but I do think we missed Kante in midfield. Also, two players that have come under severe criticism since that, yesterday's game and I think are being fairly harshly treated are Mason Mount and Tammy Abraham. Mount started the game brilliantly, I think. He kind of dipped towards the end. I mean, his work rate wasn't exactly brilliant towards the end, but I do think he's only 19 years old or 20 years old or whatever he is. And I think overall, Tammy Abraham's been really harshly criticised, but in my opinion, he played decent enough. I mean, his hold-up play was definitely a strong point. The only thing I think that Abraham lacks is the clinical edge that the likes of Costa possess. I don't think Abraham has that quite yet. He doesn't know when to sniff out a chance and sniff out a rebound and get the dirty, scrappy goals that the strikers usually do. But overall, I think that they played okay. Obviously, it wasn't the best day because we didn't even score a goal, but I think that they're being harshly criticised by 
by the pundits on Sky Sports and in the media in general. Overall, I don't want to blame Frank Lampard too much because obviously there's not much he can do. He's not he's not playing on the actual pitch itself. He's putting out a team of players that he thinks can win the game. But I do think that he shouldn't have started Bartley and left wing. I kind of feel like he should have started Pulisic on the left wing. I know he's young. I know he's inexperienced. I know he's just come into the Premier League. There's kind of going to need to give him time to settle in. But I think it was a wrong decision to play Bartley and left wing. I felt like he kind of tried to accommodate Barkley and Mount just because they both had brilliant pre-seasons but I do think he should have started Barkley or Mount in the number 10 role and played Pulisic on the left wing because I feel like Barkley wasn't having the best game at all on that left wing side because it's not his natural position fair enough and I can understand why he played badly but I just feel like he should have never started in left wing. But overall, the last point I want to make is, Chelsea fans, hear me out, let's not panic. I mean, first of all, it is Frank Lampard's first game like in his second ever season in management, obviously he's going to make mistakes, obviously things aren't going to go well, obviously it's not a game that we're going to look back on with pride and say, oh I remember Frank Lampard's first game, it was brilliant, no it's not because we lost 4-0 to United. A win against Leicester next weekend is absolutely crucial now and actually now that I point out things as well, you have to realise that five key players for us this season are all out injured, Reese James, Antonio Rudiger, N'Golo Kante, Callum hudson Adoy, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, five players that arguably you could say are starters in our team. And I've said it from day one, I'll say it again, Antonio Rudiger is a crucial player in our defence. Him to Chelsea is like Van Dijk to Liverpool. Without that player, our defence is just not the same. I mean, Rudiger basically keeps our defence together and I think he's a highly underrated def defender. I think Reese James is going to come in eventually for Azpilicueta, who I said, of course, is finished, uh, in my opinion. Loftus-Cheek and hudson Odoi, two very good attacking players who were crucial for us last season and I think will come back and do well again. And obviously N'Golo Kante, there's no, I don't even need to say anything about his importance to the team. So yeah, things obviously look bleak at the moment, Chelsea fans, I understand, but hear me out, it's going to get better, especially when those players come back from injury and overall I think that let's look onwards and upwards, let's look at Leicester at the weekend and hopefully we can get three points there. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video, no rant, I apologise and um, if you came here for a rant, maybe yesterday if I had done this video yesterday I would have ranted but I just, like, there's no point in ranting, it's not going to solve anything in terms of our current situation and that's basically what my thoughts are at this moment in time. So yeah guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, share this video around, all that good stuff and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, so see ya.